This story happened in Japan, a faraway country. There was a talented actress named Tanukio, who was both smart and funny. <laughs> she often went around performing for people. She had disguised talent and she could act as women, men, the elderly, and even animals. One day, Tanukio received a letter telling her mother was seriously huh? ill. Oh no, it's not good. I have to go home now. She was very worried and immediately set out to return home. She walked non-stop and arrived in a town at the foot of the mountain that afternoon. She just had to cross this mountain to reach her small village. Huh? Hey girl, it's getting dark. Let's huh? go to my inn to rest. Thank you, but I intend to cross this mountain tonight to get home huh? as soon as possible. You just don't know. Recently on this mountain there is a very ferocious serpent. Every evening it will appear and eat everyone who crosses the mountain. People still huh? don't know how to kill it. I advise you should stay here for one night and wait until tomorrow morning to go over the mountain. Thank you for your advice, but my mother is waiting for me at home. Even if there is a serpent, I will cross this mountain tonight. Despite the inn owner's advice, Tanukio rushed to go soon after because she huh? was so worried about her mother's situation. When Tanukio reached the mountain, it was already dark and she was also tired after a long journey. How lucky I am! Such an ideal place to stay for a moment. I should also eat something and then move on. Right after, huh? there was a strange woman approaching huh? Tanukio. She looked very cunning and fierce. Who are you? How dare you go to this mountain at night? I... I am Tanyukyo... <gasps> she suddenly stopped talking halfway when discovering the shadow mm. of the woman in the moonlight was a serpent. Tanukyo mm. immediately understood the situation. Turns out she is the serpent turning into. So dangerous. I didn't expect to see it here. How to escape now? You said you're a Tanuki? Mm? Tanuki was a kind of weasel in Japan. Seeing serpent was misunderstanding, Tanukio quickly came up with an idea. <laughs> if I say I'm human, the serpent will eat me right away. I have to fool it. Yes, I am a Tanuki. Really? I heard that Tanuki is very good at transforming. Can you transform into something that looks like me? <laughs> Too easy. Just a few seconds. But this is the secret mm. of Tanuki. You mustn't peek. Okay. The serpent agreed. Tanukio then hid behind a tree. She quickly used her tools to disguise herself as that serpent. <gasps> Great! So alike. But who else can you turn into? I can transform into anyone. Look at me! Tanukio, in the form of an old man, stepped out from a tree. Your Tanuki's transformation is amazing. Now I believe you. Let's go back to the way it was before. <laughs> How can this serpent keep me out? This is my major. Okay, you should return to your true form too. I already know you're not human. The serpent was surprised, then transformed into a large, fierce serpent. Hmm, you're very observant. Yes, I am a serpent. Are you afraid of me? Serpents always want to eat humans. Now it thinks that I am a tanuki, so I don't have to fear. I'm a tanuki, and you're a serpent. Why do I have to be afraid of you? Sound reasonable. If it's not me, so what are you afraid of? <laughs> me? My biggest fear in this world is money. I can't stand being thrown money at all. What about you? What are you- That's it. As for me, I'm only afraid of ice cold water. You mustn't tell that to anyone else. Okay, I got it. Well, I don't want to waste time with you anymore. You weasels are very stinky and don't taste good. Seeing the serpent had gone far away, Tanukio huh? heaved a sigh of relief. Huh? She knew that she had overcome the dangerous. Not huh? daring to stay there for long, Tanukio quickly set off. 
She walked all night, and when it finally dawned, she crossed the mountain and came close to her village. Tanukio suddenly met a group of hunters who were trying to drive away from the serpent. Seeing Tanukio, they were surprised. Is that Tanukio? How can she come back? You dare to cross the mountain alone at night? Did that serpent not do anything to you? I encountered that serpent and luckily fooled it. I already know its weakness too. Tanukio then told them about the fear of the serpent. They were very happy, then hurriedly prepared a lot of ice-cold water. The hunters followed the trail and quickly found out the serpent's cave. Hey, evil serpent, come here quickly and have a duel with us. This time we will get rid of you. Get out of this peaceful mountain. Stop harassing our villagers. Who dares disturb my sleep? <laughs> Great! Are you guys going to get yourself killed? When it just crawled out of the cave, buckets of cold water splashed directly on it. Oh my god! Ice cold water! Oh no! So hurt and cold! No! Stop doing so! Get out of here! Let our village be! Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, the ice cold water is horrible. I swear I'll never come back here again. From now on, I'm not allowed to go back to that mountain to arrest people anymore. I've got it. That Tanuki must have told the villagers about my fear, as only it knows my weakness. The serpent transformed back into her human form, and she was determined to find Tanukio for revenge. Talking about Tanukio, after helping the villagers get rid of the serpent, she quickly returned to her house to take care of her ailing mother. Little did she know that the serpent had turned into a human. It entered the village to find Tanukio, and finally it saw her small house. At that time, Tanukio was cooking medicine for her mother in the yard. Here you are, you hateful Tanuki. I will avenge you with your greatest fear. After it conjured, a handful of glittering gold coins appeared. Then the serpent threw it forward. Turns out, it was you. Yes, it's me. You dare to tell my secret to the villagers. Now I will take revenge. Gold coins fell into the yard in front of Tanukio. Surprised, she smiled, thinking about something. Oh no! It's gold coins! I'm so scared! The Tanuki's biggest fear is money! Help me! No! Stop throwing, please! Now you know my strength, you jerk! Sink into your fear! <laughs> the louder Tanukio cried, the more pleased the serpent became. Thus it threw more and more gold into her yard. The pile of gold in the yard kept getting higher. Our yard is full of gold coins. If letting the serpent throw more, the house will be packed. Stop here. If you dare to disturb me again, I will counterattack with cold water. Remember that I know your weakness too. It's right. I'm nothing better than it. Huh. <laughs> That's it. Anyway, I got my revenge. With no other choice, the serpent became enraged and disappeared. Since then, the village of Tanukio had become peaceful. <laughs> no one has ever seen it dare to come disturb everyone. As the serpent threw a lot of gold coins at her, she suddenly became extremely rich. With that money, Tanukio was able to build a new house and cure her mother's illness. <laughs> Tanukio's contribution to helping the villagers beat the serpent was recognized. They all loved and respected her very much. She and her mother lived happily for the rest of their lives. <laughs>